Hey guys, my name is Alyssa. Welcome to the Pines. I'd recommend that you grab yourself something to sip on because it's story time. Today I'm going to share with you guys the name of my candle company and I've been keeping it a secret for a number of months because I wanted to make this video. Because the name of the candle company has an awesome backstory, I think. So I wanted to share it with you guys. So go grab something to sip on. I have some throat coat tea. Not because I have a sore throat, but because that tea is awesome. And sit back and hang out with me. So I'm just going to dive into it. I'll give you guys a little bit of backstory so it makes sense. But I have other videos that have the details. But I make videos on homemaking and I want to encourage women if they feel the call to be a homemaker that they're not alone and that there's lots of other women who want to be homemakers. I also want to share with younger girls that homemaking is an option and that they shouldn't discount it and that I think ultimately a lot of women wish that they could be homemakers. And I think if we tell young women that that might be a desire of their heart one day, then maybe they'll align themselves up to be able to do that in the future when, when an opportunity of getting married and having kids presents themselves. Because I do know that a lot of women get heart sick when they do have children that they have to leave um, to go work. So I just want to encourage young ladies and all ladies who want to be homemakers to embrace that lifestyle and give them some helpful and practical tips on how to do that. So if you're into that kind of content or you know somebody who would be, please share this with them so they can find me. In the meantime, this video is homemaker related, but it's not um, any specific tips or tricks. This video is an introduction to my candle company that I'm starting. And I'm really excited to share with you guys the name because like I said, I've been keeping it a secret because I wanted to give it its backstory because it's much deserved. So I'm going to set the mood and set the scene. It is winter of 2020. And at the recording of this video, it's March 2022. But my husband and I were supposed to go to work that night and both of our girls were sick and I'm assuming they had the Rona. So they're sick. I end up having to call into work and let them know that I'm not going to make it to work. So my husband drives off to work without me and I stay home with our girls. I'm taking care of them. I get them to bed. I clean up the house. They fall asleep. And I remember sitting in my living room on my knees in front of our windows that overlook our pine trees in our front yard. And I remember praying and saying, God, please help me figure out a way that I can stay home full time and, and get to do this all the time because it just felt right. It felt natural and my heart was aching for that. I really love my career and my husband and I had discussed me staying home and I was just feeling so convicted on staying home. That night really stuck out to me. Um, and I remember praying and praying and going, God, please help me come up with a business idea so I can, I can make some supplemental income. So this is more practical for me to stay home. And I had like written down all of these ideas on I mean, this isn't it here, but I had notebooks full of ideas and how I was going to maybe make money from home and taking online surveys and, and selling things. And I don't know, just there was all of these ideas doing drop shipping. And I had just immersed myself in that world of making money from home. And I even tried to learn skills to, uh, work for my dad because my dad owns his own business and and his schedule would have been a lot more flexible for me with the kiddos than my police schedule would have been so I was learning the skills that I would have needed to work at his shop with him so I could maybe be home with the kids more often and the more that my husband and I tried to finagle this together to make it work for me to be able to stay home the more that we realized that 
it wasn't regardless of what I was going to do to bring in some income, it was going to detract from the point of me staying home. And I was really trying hard to come up with some ideas where I could make some additional income. And that wasn't going to detract from taking care of my home. And so I I had been thinking about this kind of stuff for a few months and as some ideas would pop into my head I would write them down either on a piece of paper in a notebook or I would write them down on a note section in my phone and and that night I was kind of looking for a note that I had made in my phone about business name ideas and I couldn't find that list in my phone anymore and I thought that was kind of strange. Usually I don't delete stuff like that and I knew it was in there before and I couldn't find it. But regardless, I remember kneeling in front of the window and praying to God and, and crying and and just passionately asking God, like, please show me. Please show me how I can do this. Please help me see the vision of of what this could be or please Lord just make the circumstance or please create a circumstance where we can do this where I can stay home and fulfill what I feel you calling me to and ultimately I want your will done Lord but please help me help me do your will and if your will is a business like help me with this and I want it to glorify you and you know, that night was a while ago and I, I remember just feeling so unsure and for some reason I remember this one name that I had come up with for a business. The business had no product. It had no service. It had no idea other than the name of it. And I got that name from a song I had heard. And the song is called Keep the Home Fires Burning. And there's a couple of different versions of this song. And there's a country song. But the song that I'm referring to is a song from the World War. And I believe it's a British song. I believe it's a British song. And the song talks about soldiers off to war and their wives keeping the home fires burning back home for them. So when they return home from war, they have a safe haven to come home to. They have got something to look forward to. And it was her duty to keep the home fires burning for him whenever he came home. And I loved the image of a mother with kids bouncing around, stoking a fire and cooking a meal over the fire and throwing a log on occasionally and tending to it and taking care of her kids and, and cleaning up the kitchen. And I just had this, this nostalgic vision of what that is and, and seeing her soldier off in the distance coming home and, and the fire roaring in the light of the window. And it just painted this emotional picture for me when I heard the song and it really stuck with me. And it just created this nostalgic vision that that I just thought was so beautiful and lost now. Like that's not really something that many people even have. They don't have a safe haven to come home to. Their, their homes are chaotic. Um, everybody's kind of serving themselves and trying to piece together, serving each other at the end of a day of hard work. Um, and that, that vision of a home tended to like that and kept warm and turned into a safe haven is lost. And I think that we should bring that back. I think a lot of us, our hearts ache for that kind of life. Um, but so I had thought the name of a business around that concept would be really cool. And so I had thought home fires. And typically when people come up with a business, they don't think of the name first. They think of the product or the service that they're going to provide. But the name came first in this case. And so I remember 
sitting in front of those windows still and thinking about that name, home fires, keep the home fires burning. And that just kind of repeated in my head. And I thought, okay, Lord, what can I do with this name? And I had an idea of keeping a light, creating some sort of light that women could put in the windows of their home. A candle, an electric light, I don't know, something practical that would remind people who are coming to her home that her home, her home is warm, it's cared for, and that she was there keeping the home fires burning. So my original idea was of some sort of light that hung in the window when her husband came home, he saw that pulling up the driveway. When the kids came home from school, they saw the light flickering in the window or anybody who came to visit her home would see that light flickering in the window and immediately think of peace and think of comfort. And I thought it was a good idea. I wrote that down, but I didn't know how practical it would be to hang a candle in somebody's window or how safe it would be. Or And I didn't think an electric light would give the same idea that I was going for. And then I just kind of thought, why not just make candles? Why not just make a beautiful candle that could represent the feeling of keeping the home fires burning and and be a reminder to keep the home fires burning. And that's the idea of the candle company. And that's where it started um, on a cold winter snowy night in a sick house with me on my knees in front of the windows praying and sobbing and crying and finally getting myself together enough where I could write some some ideas down and and that's where I came from so like I said the idea behind the candle is that it's a reminder to homemakers and wives and mothers who are diligently taking care of the house and the people around them and and their families and their in their communities that what they're doing is extremely valuable. And, you know, it's funny how the things that are the most important go unseen oftentimes. And as mundane as keeping the house clean or doing the laundry or cleaning the bathroom or brushing your daughter's hair, how mundane those things are, those truly are some of the most important tasks that can be done because that's what keeps order. And without order, there's chaos. and and chaos only breeds resentment and, and hate and, and sorrow and fear and, and nothing good. But with order, it allows people to be able to focus on growing. And it allows people to feel safety. And there's so much value in that. And I think that we've really forgotten that. And this candle is supposed to remind the women of the home that what they're doing is important. That they are the ones keeping their home fires burning. And it reminds them of their responsibility and the fact that even the small tasks are so very important. And I wanted to kind of hit it at all aspects. And I picked a, a very loud crackling wick that dances a lot um, on purpose. And I did a lot of testing to kind of achieve this look of the candle, especially the flame, because I wanted it to be audible and I wanted the homemaker to be able to not only visually see the flicker and reminder that they're keeping their home fires burning, but also hear it. And the, the hear, the, and the sound of a crackling wooden wick just gives it that nice little nostalgic throwing another log on the fire vibe to it and I really love it. I also wanted the the candle to not only be seen, not only be heard, but of course smelt. And these candles produce a pretty strong smell. Uh, they're not they're large candles, but they're not multi-wick candles. It's one wooden wick. So this candle would be perfect for a bedroom. Um, 
a, a big bathroom, it would definitely fill the air. Any room with a closed door, it's gonna fill the scent. Uh, it's gonna, the scent is gonna fill the room. Um, in a living room or a kitchen, you're definitely gonna smell it in the room. It's just not gonna be extremely, extremely uh, potent. <laughs> but, so I work really hard on trying to perfect uh, the hot throw. I will be making different size candles in the future, but right now I'm gonna stick with this because I do make this jar that it's in. I hand make the jar and I hand mix the fragrances and completely create this candle myself. Uh, all of the labels, every detail I have created. The wax that I use for these candles is a coconut, soy, and beeswax blend, which is a pretty unique blend for a container candle. So I picked that because I do love the beeswax aspect of, in there and the coconut and soy are just beautiful blends. It, it creates a very soft, smooth, glossy finish, but also this wax can really hold its shape pretty good. Um, so it's a very high quality candle and I made it that way because I do think that it's important to have something that's a that's that's kind of like a treat for you. Um, the point of this candle is for it to be the homemaker's uh, visual reminder, and I want it to be as nice as I possibly can make it. So I put a lot of heart into these. I hand seal all of these so that the wax doesn't seep through. One of the awesome awesome things about this candle is, as homemakers, we like to get bargains and we like to get what we pay for, and and you know we are typically frugal people and we want to get things for a good deal. Now these ex these candles, um, once you've completely used this candle and it's done, this jar you can use as a flower pot or a planter of some sort. You can also use it as a pencil holder or put jewelry in or whatever. This pot is beautiful. Please don't throw it away. I've spent a lot of time making it and I want you to be able to get your money's worth out of it. So once your candle's gone, then you can come get another candle, but do not throw this container away because you can use it for a lot of stuff and it's gorgeous. So I plant plants in here. I plant, I've put succulents in here before. It's really neat. So once your candle runs out, you don't just pitch the glass and, and you're done. You get an awesome pot holder or whatever you could possibly use for this. So you can find this on my website. It's homefirescandleco.com. I'm still working on the website. It's not finished yet, but I'm also going to have an Etsy. That Etsy site will be launched before the actual website, I think, is what's going to end up happening. So... You can order a candle off of Etsy once we launch the company first, um, but I would prefer you order it off of the website uh, once I have the website up. So if you're interested in these candles, I will be launching the company in the next couple of months. Please go to Thin Blue Pines on Instagram and I will have updates on when the launch date is and I also show how I make the candles and and I talk about homemaking and all sorts of stuff so go follow the Instagram. If you don't have Instagram, I also have a Facebook. It's also Thin Blue Pines and I will keep you guys posted on when I'm launching the candle company and uh, I'm really excited to share these with you. So if you have any questions or comments, please put them down in the comment section below so I can read them and get to you guys. And I would love to meet you. If you just wanna say hi, just pop down there and say hi and introduce yourself. I really love getting to meet people who are watching the videos on YouTube and Instagram and stuff. So um, don't hesitate to reach out to me and let me know that you're here. <laughs> so. I'm really glad that you hung out with me today. Thank you for sticking around this long and listening to my little candle business story. I'm excited to share them with you. Oh, I'll also be at farmer's markets and craft fairs and stuff like that. So I will, if you're local to the Fox Cities area of Wisconsin, um, definitely follow my Instagram and Facebook and I'll let you guys know where I'm at as far as in-person sales. So. Thanks for hanging out with me tonight. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.